Good morning, guys. Rubber band powered car. Small, lightweight. Very basic. I'm going to use rubber O-rings for wheels. So we've printed small wheels and I'll use bicycle spokes or 2mm metal rods for the axles. Well, there's not much to put together. I've got a bit of a bicycle spoke here which we'll use for the axle there's a little bit of uh, swarf or whatever a bit of filament hanging down in there I need to clean that away make sure it's spinning freely about the front yeah there's a few little bits there that have a few stringy bits Need to make sure they're cleared out or they'll be dragging. The wheels, I've got these O-rings as tyres. I've got this pack of them. In fact, that's the expensive pack from Lidl. Mixed in there, there's a cheap pack I picked up in a bargain store. Um, what size are they? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what size I've used. Just went along until I found some were a tight fit. Um, I think, let's see, 22, 20, 18. I should think these are 18 by 3.5 millimeter, I would think. So they were just sort of random ones. All right, bicycle spoke should be a tight fit. Might need to put a little bit of glue on there to make sure it doesn't slip. They are very small wheels, so it's not going to go very far. Because the number of rotations won't get you as far as the number of rotations of my usual wheels, which are CDs, which are that much bigger. I just thought we'd have a bit of fun with little ones. Rubber bands. Um, I bought these in Tesco a while back. They're not particularly big, but they're probably more than enough for uh, this application. Through there, round the outside. Okay. And then wrap that round the back axle. It holds itself in place, and away we go. Right, I'm going to clean that hole out a little bit more. It's dragging a little, and that's going to slow it down. I've got a good strong pair of pliers, cutters here, side cutters. The wheels have got a little bit of a dimple in the middle there. They go that way round with the dimple facing in, so that reduces the friction area. And then a little bit of wood. A little bit of freedom. Oh, that can go in just a little bit further.
Okay. Same at the front. Right, we may well find that we get lots of wheel spin, in which case we'll have to add weight to it, or reduce the power of the rubber band. You could quite easily cut that rubber band so it's just a single string instead of a double string, instead of a loop. Yeah, I think we're going to get wheel spin terribly. So I might need to add some weight. Yeah, wheel spin. So we can either add weight or reduce the power. I think I've got a little lead weight that I can put on there. I'll go and have a look. Right, that's a lead weight off a car wheel. I think that says 40 grams. So that should add quite a, quite a bit of weight to the back. Just got the clearance. Only just. <laughs> Yeah, that made a lot of difference. Right, I've wound it up quite a bit more. Yeah, not bad. That's about five meters. That used to be the old target. Washing machines on, that's what the noise is. So we'll see if we can get to the line where the old door was before we opened it up to the conservatory. Bring the camera back. Uh, not quite far enough. I'm going to try reducing the power now. All right, to reduce the power, I've simply cut the rubber band. So I'm just using a single strand instead of the double strand. That one I've left alone, but this one I've cut. It's not so easy to wind it up on there. But you rub it, you wind it so it goes over itself and that holds it in place. And I'm stretching it as we go in, which means I should get more turns on it, or more turns from it. Oh, it jammed. Oh, that's annoying. That was going really well then. Oh, it jammed again. That time, it jammed over the back wheel, ran over its own string. Oh, this is getting frustrating now. Right, single strand of the rubber band. I've taken extra care winding it up. Much better distance. Not the absolute full length, but I was only aiming to get past that line. Because as I remember it, that's about five meters from there to there. So we've probably done about seven. That's not bad. Lots of things you could do to change it. Bigger back wheels, 
would make life a lot easier because the bigger the wheels are, the less number of turns they have to do to do the distance and also the less likely they are to spin, to wheel spin because there's less, um, less leverage on them. So you could easily just make those wheels much bigger. That'll do. That worked. That was an experiment. Small wheels had to add a lot of weight to keep them on the ground and reduce the power right down to a single strand.